What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney Investigations 2. As usual, Harry Botts is keeping secrets from us because he can't tell the truth ever in his life! So, what did we establish last time? There was the PH. We found a broken piece of PH, Pierre, which probably came off of the T set. But we'll, we'll see what Larry has to say first. What's that? Larry, I got a feeling that what you're holding is related to the tea and this pottery shard. Uh, uh. Well, if you're not gonna talk to me, I can always hand this shard over to Judge Courtney. Wait, I'm trying to keep a clean image for Justy. Busty Justy. I don't want her to see me, uh, oh, I've dirtied myself! I can't imagine what part of you can be considered clean, but... If you don't want her to declare you guilty, I suggest you speak truthfully now. I got it. I'll tell ya. God, this guy. He's gonna be responsible for half of all the logic chess we play in this game. Larry, it's time you confess to what you've done. Ugh. How could you be so cruel to your best friend? The same way you can be so dishonest to your best friend. Well, you can stop glaring at me. I promise to tell the truth this time for sure. I just thought I'd pour Justy some tea. But my hand kinda slipped a bit and it broke. I accidentally broke the crazy expensive tea poot. The butt strikes again. Why am I not surprised? Oh boy. You've really done it this time, Loris. What should I do, Edgy? I. Katie will hate. I'm not. I can't just keep. You can't just keep making me go. You can't elongate. I'm having a hard time saying words. You understand. Crying to me about it won't solve anything. First, you should apologize to Miss Hall. Good, on your knees. Is that so? My teapot was... Katie, I'm so sorry. I don't have any money, but... I'll draw as many portraits of... I thought that said parfaits. I'll draw as many parfaits of you as you like. Because she loves parfaits. Please kindly raise your head. It is I who should apologize. I didn't notice the broken shards. It's dangerous, so I'll tidy up the broken pieces. Allow me to take this piece from you as well. Wasn't this tea set one of Isaac Dover's works? I heard that it was very important to you. Yes, but there's no use crying over spilled tea. Besides, I still have another one of those teapots left. Is she not as attached to Dover's works as she used to be? Katie, you're so kind! Oh, that other teapot you were talking about, is it the one on that cart? Yes? Truth is, when I was trying to hide the broken shards, I looked under that cart. And I found a teapot that looked exactly the same, so I switched them. Larry switched the broken teapot with another teapot. Really? Yeah! Everything's cool now! I took great care to make sure no one would break that pot. You! Don't brag about what that that when you were the one who broke it in the first place! I'm sorry. I don't mind. Thank you for your consideration. Edgy, Katie's a really nice lady, ain't she? You should reflect on how you cause trouble for people like her. Okay! When I make it big as an artist, I'll donate paintings. In fact, I'll even welcome you as my own personal model. I think it'd be better if you just stopped causing trouble. I hope you haven't done anything else. I haven't! I just stood around sketching beauties. Hmm? If you're interested, I can let you take a peek. I guess even Mr. Edgeworth is interested in beauties. It's not like that. I'm gay, you see. <laughs> That would have been perfect. I'm not interested in beauties, because I'm gay. That'd be a huge twist. And then they just move on. I just thought it might be another one of his strange paintings. How dare you! I'm very confident in my work this time. Ooh, I want to see too. I'm glad you're so honest about it, Kay. I'll get it ready, so come check it out later. I guess I'll have him show it to me later.
about that sketch you mentioned just now. What? If you wanted to see my art, you should have been honest about it from the start. Look, here it- What? Here it is! You said, give me a minute to prepare it, okay? Ooh. What is this? Look at how incriminating that is of- of Delicia! It's so incriminating! I already told you, it's a sketch of beauties. Ah, but just to be clear, the beauties only refers to Justy and Katie. Ooh, that's so cold! That other plump lady has nothing to do with that. Then why'd you draw her on the same page? Well, I was taking a break from my still life painting when those beauties caught my eye. I guess I just drew them on the same page without thinking. So, you're saying the pictures on this page were each drawn separately? Huh? Oh yeah, I may have drawn them at different times. By the way, there's a drawing of the beautiful little Miss K on another page. Beautiful, huh? <laughs> Thanks. Larry, you drew this exactly as you saw it, correct? Well, yeah, even I can't draw what I can't see. I recreated the scene perfectly, even the delicate shades. I don't want to admit it, but... This picture might be of help to the investigation. The contents of this sketch, and the service cart in the fountain patio. It seems there is a contradiction between the two. With the service cart? I'll need to expose this contradiction using my powers of deduction. Could I borrow this sketch for a while? Sure, I could even sign it for you if you like. I think I'll pass. Interesting. I would have gone for the very incriminating fountain sketch, but it, something about the service card is wrong. But all I saw were chocolates. I guess I can... I guess I'll try deducing it, but I don't really know what we'll get. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't see the deduction thing. Hold on, let's examine first. Here, now we can deduce. What are we deducing? I don't know. Oh, I guess. Where is the... There it is. Larry, there's something I want to ask you about your sketch. Huh? You want a lecture on sketching from the famed Professor Loris, do ya? No, I just need to ask you something. The tablecloth in your sketch, are you sure it was light blue? Yeah, my eyes never fail. But the one on the service cart here is white, isn't it? Dude. You're always so busy thinking with just your head that you miss the obvious. What's with that look on your face? When I drew that painting, I was using the cart with the tea set on it, remember? Because I was tidying up the broken pottery shards, that's not something to be proud of. And right then, Katie came out of the Winter Palace. I had to hurry and hide the broken teapot so that she would notice it. He took the blue cloth that has the lights! But, wait, there's a second table? Did you just say, Miss Hall came out of the Winter Palace? That's right, but this time she was pushing another service cart. And the tablecloth was white, blue, just like how I drew it. What did she do with that service cart? Beats me. She went to the Summer Palace with it, so I don't know. And when she came out, she was pushing the lift trolley. The lift trolley? When I called out to her, she was so surprised that she just left it there. She's so cute when she's shy and hiding ex incriminating evidence. A second service cart. And a lift trolley. A second service cart on the grassy knoll? Maybe there were two tea sets along with the two service carts. We'll have to verify it with Miss Hall. Okay. Miss Hall! Why are you lying? Hello! You're lying. Where have you been until now? I was showing the remaining guests out and handing out complimentary gifts as an apology. Did you require my services? Yes. There are a few things I want to ask you about. If my suspicions are correct. She's the one who set up the poison gas trap. Is it true you keep two service carts on the premises? Yes. Is there something wrong? 
Earlier, I was looking at one of the sketches from that so-called artist, and... I noticed that he'd drawn the cart's tablecloth light blue. Light blue? Are you sure you weren't mistaken? I only ever use tablecloths that are pure white. That's true. The tablecloth here doesn't have a single spot on it. Yes, that's because I always change them immediately whenever they get dirty. Did Larry really get the color wrong then? What were you doing when the sketch was drawn? At that time, I was just doing my job as usual. Then, could you tell me exactly what the work entails? What were you doing when you were drawn in the sketch? From the looks of the drawing, it doesn't seem like you were transporting the tea set. This was when I was delivering chocolates to all the people in the investigation. Ah, how nice! Chocolates! I wish I could have got some too. There's still a few left, so please eat these then. I made them myself, though it's possible they might not suit your taste. Woohoo! Eh, 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 thanks! Thank you? Perhaps it's because she had them in her pocket, but it looks like they've melted a bit. Handmade by Miss Hall, kept inside the pocket? Melted a little, okay. Mmm, the sweet goodness. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. These chocolates are a little misshapen, but I'm glad to get some sugar in my system. Although they're a little too sweet for my taste. Too sweet. <laughs> How exactly did you prepare the melted sculptures from 18 years ago? My! So you know about what happened 18 years ago? It's because 18 years ago, I photographed Monsieur Dover's sculptures. Using the photos as a base, I managed to create the replicas. The Zodiac sculptures had been an unfinished work, so I wanted to complete it somehow. Because I am the one who accidentally melted Monsieur Dover's sculptures. And could you tell me why the Autumn Palace resembles the Winter Palace so much? Well, my apologies. Do they really look so alike? I think I may have gotten some of the decorations mixed up. She is obviously lying! But I haven't gathered any evidence to prove that yet. Well, it's nice of him to mention that. Can we go to the summer room? Hold on, have we looked at this spill yet? This smell and this color. Don't tell me this is a puddle of tea. Okay, can we go in here? There's a vase of tulips in front of this door. Probably because this is the Spring Palace. You know, speaking of spring, it's the moving season. People who have just moved always let their guard down. So it's also thieving season. As a great thief, don't you think burglary is a little beneath you? Ugh, you're right. See, her character would have been a lot better if she had already been an established thief. Like, um, like a criminal who's a known criminal, but the police can't arrest her because they don't have any solid evidence. Then she'd be a cool character. But because she hasn't stolen anything, ever, it's like, ah, ah. There's a vase of sunflowers in front of this door. So this is the summer room, probably because this is the summer palace. You know, speaking of summer, it's bonus season. Fat wallet stuffed with cash, which means it's also thieving season. As a great thief, don't you think pickpocketing is a little beneath you? I guess so. So I can't go in. Let's try examining the lift again. Trolley's been left here. Wonder if it was used recently to carry something heavy. Okay, so that's still pointless. Who am I gonna talk to? How's the investigation coming along? Have you found anything? Hoi? 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 What kind of interjection is that? Hoi? Not quite, actually. We haven't found any clues yet. What the hell is hoy? Let me Google that. Hoy interjection. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Jump to interjection. Netherlands. Interesting. Hoy Netherlands, an informal greeting acknowledging someone's arrival or presence. Compare English hey or hi. Hoy. Ho got it. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. All right, let's go back to what we were actually doing. You're doing it wrong. Hoi is only used when you're showing someone something. Also, yes, he is used to confirm 
And is also a greeting. Eep is used when you're afraid. Yesy? Yesy? Origin? Let me Google that too. Yesy, the meaning and origin. Baby name center. That's a name? I don't want to know that. Gender for girl. I don't care. Urban dictionary? Yes, let's see what urban dictionary has to say. Yesy, clumsy, cute, smart, funny. Ha ha, you pull the yesy when you walk into that door. I don't know about that. To wiggle and jiggle, I like that. Damn, I really wish I could see yesy like her. To, well, you've used that sentence in pro- I don't, okay. I shouldn't have gone to Urban Dictionary. Fee is used when you don't like something. Oi is used when you're calling someone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I see. I didn't know it was that deep. Oi oi, Mr. Edgeworth. Did you catch all that? Okay. Shut up! Yes, E. I don't like it. I don't like it. Nope, we've already seen that. What are we missing? I feel that your con uh, conduct thus far has clearly been out of line. I will make sure to bring this matter up to the PIC. Do whatever the hell you want, I don't give a shit. Is essentially what he's saying, in fancy terms. But in return, we're going to be doing whatever we want as well. If I remember correctly, you're the little Miss Great Thief. I'll have to report your misconduct to the PIC as well, young lady. Sure, since it will only serve to increase my fame as the Great Thief. It seems even Judge Courtney is unable to get a handle on Kay. What about you, man? What about DeBest? Mr. DeBest, you're getting a bit in my way if you stand here. <laughs> I'm not going to move. Just do what you can over there. Don't say that. It's probably the best if you just stand over there. The best, you say? Okay, I'll go stand over there. So anything is fine as long as you add the best to it. It'd be the best if you got the hell out of my way and just quit your job. Oh, okay. There's a maple tree in front of this door, but that door leads to the Winter Palace. Maple trees are autumn trees, so this must have been placed here as a red herring. Well then how about we freeze it to make it look like a maple tree? We've already done this before, except when we talked about the fur. Please don't complicate matters any further. We've talked to everybody, it feels like. So what are we missing? Logic! Logic is what we're missing. Minty aroma, different tea aroma. Baha ba jam! Hot diggity dog! Okay, that's not it. Shut up. I get it. I understand. Let's try different tea aroma and the pots were switched. Shimona! Yeah! Maybe the reason why the Ceylon tea smelled different was because the pots had been switched. Really? The taste of the tea itself did not actually change after all. Let's go ask Miss Hall about it in more detail. Miss Hall. Was the reason why the Ceylon tea smelled different because the pots were switched? Yes, that's certainly possible. It had a fresh minty aroma, not unlike that of uva tea. I remember now, I prepared some minty yesterday. I'm sure that the aroma just happened to remain in the teapot. The tea has a minty aroma because a different teapot was used. Okay. Is that really all there is to it? Minty aroma because different teapot. Normally red liquid with minty aroma. Okay, got it. A minty aroma was emanating from the pot Larry had replaced. Miss Hall said the aroma was left over from the mint tea she prepared yesterday. Indeed. She seemed less surprised to find out that Larry broke the teapot and more surprised by the fact that the pots had been switched. That's right. Normally, it would have been the reverse. A broken teapot is much more shocking. She was probably trying to hide this teapot. Hide the pot. One of the characteristics of Normalium is a minty aroma. There is a possibility that she was hiding Normalium inside the teapot. Inside the pot? It is only a possibility for now, but it's one worth investigating. Mr. DeBest, I assume you haven't found the Normalium yet. Oh! I've had the entire art museum search, but I haven't received any reports yet. And what about you? Don't you have any ideas? 
only one. I knew it! Nobody but me would be able to find it! Wait, what? You have an idea? Indeed. Then tell me! It may have been in this teapot that Miss Hall had used. Ooh, this teapot is pretty nice. It would make the perfect peasant for the best prosecutor. It's not a peasant, it's an important piece of evidence. Oh, it's just evidence. Then I'll guess I'll have forensics take a look at it. Uh -huh. Edgeworth, is there something wrong with the teapot I used? Sure, since you killed someone with it! This teapot has a minty aroma to it. It's the same aroma as one of the two chemicals used to create the poison gas. Edgeworth, surely you don't mean... You suspect me of having set off the poison gas. I do, and don't call me Shirley. Setting up the poison gas trap in the Autumn Palace would have required some preparation. As the curator of this museum, you're the only one who could have prepared it in advance. I wonder about that. Preparations for the opening of the museum took about a week. And I received help from both outsiders and Madame Delicia. I think there are people besides me who are also suspicious. Of course, Delicia is also under scrutiny. Furthermore, I don't even know how to create something like poison gas. Even if you found normalium in my teapot. There's no way I could have prepared the poison gas. Well then, I look forward to hearing the analysis results of the teapot. Her excuse is that she doesn't know how to prepare the poison gas. I must find a way to shatter that excuse. And with that, let's end this video here at around 22 minutes. So enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you all next Monday. Bye-bye!